calling it Captain Fun's Floating Fandango. Well, I am. I don't know if anybody else is, but why not? We'll get on Lake Erie for the afternoon on the brand new Lady Caroline. And we'd love to have you along. Last handful of tickets going out today and next week. You've got to win your way on. You can also go to WMMS.com and try to win there. Right now, you can be caller 10 and get the last pair from me this week. Good luck. We'll see you next Saturday afternoon. Caller 10, 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Are you trying to make us all uncomfortable? Alan Cox. It's gross. It's weird. It's not right. It's not cool. And there's plenty more where that came from. Back to the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 Double. Knocked me over with a feather when I saw the photos of Kid Rock drinking Bud Light. No. What? what? Recent pictures? This isn't dug up from the past. Last night. What? Now, granted, his bar in Nashville never stopped selling Bud Light. Nadoy. But come on. He was at a show. Mary, you know who Colt Ford is? I sure do. Sure, that's his real name. Uh, He was doing a show in Nashville last night. Kid Rock there, valued guest up on the sky deck. With a Bud Light in hand. Now, I have to think that this is some kind of liberal snowflake Photoshop job because what that would mean if it wasn't is that Kid Rock has been faking all this Bud Light outrage. And that can't be the case. So, yeah, he was at the... uh, Listen, uh, I like Bud Light. But Kid Rock, come on. Shot it with a gun. If I can't believe Bob Ritchie, uh, who am I going to be left to believe? Maybe he turned in a new leaf and is trying to be more open to alternative lifestyles. Mm. Ain't nobody going to tell me how to live. Listen, I ain't going to tell you how to live. God bless you. Um, if you listen to us on iHeartRadio, by the way, uh, tell me where you do that if it's from out of state. I always like to know where people are listening across the union. Put you uh, out here on the map. People say, Alan, put me on that map. Or you could be here Let's get that or map you could going. be uh, here in Montana. We'll be there in a few weeks. You can be out here in the Dakotas. You're going to Montana? Yeah. Why? No, wherever we, in- wherever we put you on the map, you have to move there. That's the new th- that's, that's the, the new, new rule. rule. Yeah. You have to move there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we put you in Montana. You got to move to Montana. Mm. You want to be a bureau chief? You got there's uh, some higher expectations. <laughs> right, I see. Wow, really comes a lot of obligation mm-hmm. now. Anastasia is a listener in Starkville, Mississippi. Claude listens in Surprise, Arizona. Mike is in Asheville, North Carolina. Love Asheville. Uh, Carissa is in Conway, South Carolina. And Ryan is a brand new listener in Lakeland, Florida. Of course, you can leave us messages there, too. Oh, no. Sweetie, you eat your own boogers. I'm not going to listen to you about flavor profiles and what tastes good or doesn't. You eat boogers. (laughs) You may as well just have ketchup with your steak and slam a few Diet Cokes. You eat boogers, sweetie. No. I cannot describe what that tone and sweetie does in my chest. <laughs> I Is it know worse than eating a booger? This And here's the thing. People say that like it's something I do all the time. Like it's something that Bill and I and admitted like to. Like we're doing it for the flavor yes, and not for the convenience. Bill and I admitted to having you know that eaten doesn't our boogers make it in the better, past. Right? No, we admitted to having done that in a moment of vulnerability and transparency, and now people think, like, that's my go-to snack. You eat your boogers all the time, <laughs> stick a finger in your nose, always put your tongue up there. No, it has happened. But that doesn't I could lie, and better. I didn't. Listen, I look like butts and other things. That doesn't that make don't it. taste good? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you've gone down on a woman after maybe, I yeah. don't know. Don't try, to, whatever. Don't workout, try to muddy the waters. I'm just saying, don't make it seem like that's something I'm doing day in and day and out. And all it does is advance our palate because we know more flavors. Yeah. So if you're trying to get on your high horse, oh, you eat boogers. Sweetie, and our immune system. You eat 
boogers. Yeah, now we know what boogers taste like. So we go, oh, we don't want to put that on a pizza, you idiot. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you put that to rest. Uh, yeah, people are texting me. They're like, Alan, what the hell is going on over there? Bill and uh, Mary are eating their boogers. Pound cake's not taking a shower. I... I I echo your concerns. What is Again, going on around here? We're not eating here? boogers all the time. No, it's we not, admitted to I've having I've never done it. eaten a booger. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. To say I only did it one or two times is not sweetening the deal. No, we're not saying one or two times. We admitted to hundreds having hundreds of thousands. Done it. But we haven't done it. <laughs> He's like, I just ate one in the break. Millions and millions of times. No. <laughs> I'm saying I, it's a thing that has happened. Right. And uh, if you're one of these people that is so. Great, apparently, because you haven't eaten a booger. I, I, I don't see that as a real human you. experience. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, sweetie. I hate that, dude. You eat your own <laughs> I really, really hate that. <laughs> I'm going to run that off and use it. Don't do that. Oh, come on. Why not? Because it's condescending and oh, aggravating. sweetie, don't do that. You don't get talked down to the way that girls do. You don't know what people say to me. Who talks down to you like that? Everybody. Political joke. Political joke. Alan. Come on. <laughs> now, I'm not a woman, obviously. So you're right. It's That's a different why thing. I hate Alan. But it she evokes, is a woman. Hate Alan. It evokes anger in my chest. I understand. And I don't like it. Oh, no. Sweetie. You eat your own boogers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come yeah. on. And if it's an expanded. No, island. God, please, no. So you're going with it's expanded our palates. Mm -hmm. Then I guess I'm fine with a limited palate. I will say that. Mm -hmm. I am perfectly fine with a limited mm -hmm. palate. You're kind of like a snot sommelier, if you will. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. No, I'm just saying that I know the flavor of boogers, but I don't, uh, doesn't mean I put it in a pizza. But here's where your I logic like falls pizza, apart. Mary has won awards for her pizza flavoring. Yeah. Uh, so it's, suck it. She knows what she's doing. She made a Big Mac pizza. Anybody's going to give that You've an never award. never made it. Because a Big Mac is a delicious thing. So if you turn it into a pizza, that's no big leap. Don't sit yeah, here but and you're, act like you knew your, about your it kale before chip I said pizza anything. crust that you're gonna yeah. make is gonna be real great. I'm All right, sure. so we've got so a friend yeah. is outside. That I wanted to give you guys something on the cruise, but I'm afraid they won't make it home. Now he can always be watching. Love you, bye. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she oh little ghost bag pictures. Yeah, she painted yeah, she, them for right. us. Right, I said I don't think that I'm right. gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab those from her. All right, thank you. I think she wanted to get pictures with us too, so they got. All right, well, I got. I got yeah. 10 minutes to a break, so. They can sit in the green room. Yeah, they can sit in the green yeah, room. Yeah, I don't yeah, care, they're yeah. There. No, she hit me up and asked, are you going to have a backpack or something on the cruise because I have something I want to give you? And I said, I'm Ubering, so I'm not going to have any gear with me. And then I think they're going to the Guardians game, so she was mm -hmm. like, uh, well, I'll bring them by then. Yeah. But here's where the logic breaks down. There is no, there is no I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask you because I don't know. Mm -hmm. You said, we know the flavor of a booger. Right. But there isn't a singular booger flavor, right? Well, how would you know? I'm saying I don't. Well, Are you saying as a booger eater that I, there is a one the booger flavor? The texture can change the experience. I'll say that. <laughs> they can be crunchy or slimy or whatever. But, but the the booger, wouldn't the flavor also change based I mean, on what's going on in your way, body like, at the time? Not every piece of cheese is going to taste exactly the same, but it's a it's a flavor profile. Oh, so the more it's aged. No, I just, I mean, th there's a billion different factors. Okay. Such as? Your diet? Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. So there's, I mean, if you're grass-fed or you're... <laughs> <laughs> All those different things yeah. uh, play into All right. the uh, booger. And again, this is not something we do for flavor. We're not eating boogers for no, flavor. No, but if you're or making or the or case, sustenance. if you're We're making. We're we've admitted to having eaten boogers. Unlike you liars. Because, and yeah. that's one thing. That's fine. But you're trying to now make the case that that has given you an expanded palate. And that's what I call bull shrimp on. That's Well, that's Bill's take. Well, that's why I asked him when you were out there. I'm, I'm like, saying, well, then there's if, there's if not there's chance, not one based, singular booger flavor. Based off of knowing that me and Mary have eaten boogers and knowing everything you know about how Alan approaches food, the guy that doesn't like butter, whose pizza would you want to eat? Yeah, gee, what a tough choice. The guy didn't like butter or the booger eaters. But whose the people pizza that like food. What the, 
That's got nothing to do with boogers. I'm you know just what? Saying. I don't like this. Bill and I were oh, being honest. No. Sweetie. <laughs> Being honest, we had a moment of vulnerability and transparency, and we shared that with the audience, and now it's being used against us. That's what we all of this. We could have easily lied. That's what all of this is. You we pays could, your money and you takes your chances. We We've could all have lied. admitted to things that we were embarrassed to admit to. I'm not embarrassed. You guys weren't embarrassed. Why would I be? Bill's not. And also, Mary I don't, wasn't. I don't for one happened. second either believe that uh, eat, as a small, small child, you didn't eat. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Anybody. You can believe whatever you want. No I have way. never two, eaten a two year olds booger. Eat boogers, man. Yep. Two year olds aren't generating boogers. Have you ever gotten sick and done the that thing and then you swallow it? That's a booger. Might as well be eating a booger. That's not. I blow it out of my nose. Not when you were five. I was taught to blow my no. nose earlier than five. I don't think so. I'm just saying, when you were a little small kid. You guys described again. Call happening. your mom. You guys described. Now, I've also done this as an adult. I've done it this year. I've done it probably this month. Maybe this week. I don't know. But just happens. Listen, for as unabashedly open as you were about it, now you're trying to retcon the whole I'm thing. I'm not retconning anything. I say You guys said I'm you, just saying we can make a better pizza than you. Saying, hey, have you ever been sick and sucked it back? That's different than what you guys said, which was picking, extracting, and putting it back. It was already out. It could have gone into a Kleenex. You said, nope, no went Kleenex. in the mouth. There's no Kleenex Where are you going to get a Kleenex, huh? You find one. Situation. Where? You're driving in your car. You're driving in your car. You don't have a pack of Kleenex in the glove box? Not, not anymore. He went through them all. I, I take How open, did you go through them I all if you're just eating containers. what comes out? I take open glassware in my car. <laughs> That's what I use my napkins for. Again, no connection to eating boogers. I'm out of napkins. I'm not going to wipe it on the seat. <laughs> they're not always getting eaten. Sometimes uh. they're just going in your mouth and then you're spitting them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, once you've extracted them, they're out of your body. You could put, you know. You could do a lot of things. I guess it begs the question, because there are people who extract them and then put them under the chair or yeah. on the wall. That too. Which is grosser, putting it back into your own body from whence it came or on a wall or a chair. Putting it in a public space is way worse. I under a table at a restaurant I agree. or something. I agree. At least with the eating, you're keeping it. You're sending it back home. Yeah. From whence it came. Hey, Susan. Hello. Hi. So uh, I was feeding my toddler when my daughter was younger uh, mashed bananas. And my son was sitting next to me. And I walked away from her for a moment. And I... Uh, my son goes here, have this. And I, it looked like a piece of banana that was mashed up (laughs) and I ate it off his finger (laughs) and I, I said, Oh, what was that? And he said it was a booger. (laughs) Oh, gross. Kids are gross. And I ate it. I ate my child's booger. (laughs) I ate my kid's booger, too, now that you mention that. Ah. I told that story. So you story. have eaten a booger. When Nora was a baby, everybody got grossed <laughs> out because I took a booger from her and put it in my mouth. I, I did it to shock my wife, and boy, did I succeed. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, I had a baby booger. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you and I are the grossest here. people out of the four then, uh, Susan, since we yeah. yeah. All right, well, thank you for your candor. And uh, Okay, anyway, uh, point being is that uh, when and if it comes around to us having our own uh, signature pizzas, um, who knows what it'll be? <laughs> Bill's got the big sausage corn dog on the brain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mary's, right, uh, pepperoni. pepperoni. I'm sorry, pepperoni on the brain. Uh, pound cakes is going to be double caviar. meat, double sauce. Yeah, caviar and wet lettuce. Mm-hmm. Mary's going to be that Big Mac. No, That's, I'm going to come oh. up with something new. Oh, I've you are? done the Big Mac. I've done the Hawaiian. Mm-hmm. I'm going to come up with something new. Dude, I've never had a Big Mac pizza. So Any, good, you'll die. It, listen, those are all good tastes. It's just crazy rich. And no one has a problem with that but you. Well, I do, yeah. Um, but it t- the flavors are great. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have any idea maybe which direction you'll go? You'll, you're going to go in like a super savory direction, aren't you? Me? Yes. I love a sweet and savory combo. So that's like the behind the Hawaiian pizza that had barbecue sauce as the base, chicken, pineapple, jalapeno. Mm. Did I you win like, that year too? I won that year. Those are the yeah. two that I've won yeah. with. I just thought of what I'm going to do. Oh. Pepperoni, mm-hmm. peach, mm-hmm. hot honey. There you go. Why not bacon? Damn, they, why not bacon? Wait a minute. Why not bacon? 
instead of pepperoni. Because I think pepper, I'd like to keep it more to a traditional you pizza topping, maybe. Pizza. It doesn't have to be, You though. know, well, I'll tell you why. Because ba- like a BLP, you're getting strips of bacon, whereas on a pizza, you're kind of getting the crumbles. Crumble, yeah. yeah. Is that mm-hmm. so it's a texture thing? Pizza, I don't know about that. We'll pizza, figure it out. Pizza, 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 <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This could all fall apart, too, right? It's a great announcement that we got mm-hmm. via the email, but who knows if it'll ever, uh, as Poundcake says, come to fruition. But uh, I don't know. All right, I got to take a break here. I want to go to that baby clock tour. It's baby metal and death clock. Uh, neither of them 100% real bands, but they're going to go out and perform for you at the world-famous Agora. Uh, So I'll have those uh, passes for you after the break. 35192 on a text for anything else, and we'll be back. It's the Ellen Clark Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app or whatever smart device you have. Just tell me to play the Alan Cox Show on iHeartRadio. Get ready to win your way to our 2023 iHeartRadio Music Festival and $1,000. You'll be there for a weekend full of superstar performances. Foo Fighters. Fall Out Boy. Kelly Clarkson. Kane Brown. Lil Wayne. Lil Durk. Miguel. Public Enemy. Sheryl Crow. Travis Scott. Tim McGraw. TLC. 30 Seconds to Mars, never-before-seen collaborations. And once-in-a-lifetime moments you'll have to see to believe. The iHeartRadio.